Okay, so every year I build a model village and this piece of uh, wood here is what I refer to as a mountain and by the end of what I've finished, hopefully it, you, it would look like a mountain. As you can see, it's got two platforms. The one at the top will end up eventually with a ski station on it and a ski lift will disappear off to the left hand side covering down to the village. Um, last year when I built my village on the platforms below here um, I had buildings but what I wanted to do this year was create a um, ski slope. I've always fancied creating a ski slope. So what I'm trying to do is, is use polystyrene blocks to create a basis for my ski slope um, and I've started by just sticking three of these blocks together. I purchased these blocks very cheap and easy to buy just like bricks um, and what I've done is put um, cocktail sticks like this in the end and some PVA glue and attach these together. Uh, I've used a bit of duct tape here just to give it a bit of extra um, adhesion. Um, I intend to cover this afterwards with poly um, plaster uh, and um, so that will make it, you won't see these obviously when this is finished. Um, I've been playing around with this by building in the corner here three blocks to get the height that I want and I've cut this piece with angles as you can see there and there so that what we'll end up with is a ski slope down. Um, I'm then going to put a, a block here and, we'll, and I'm, I'll do this piece by piece to see how it goes. I'll put another block there and another block here and some little off cuts in here some bits of polystyrene and then I'll cover it all in plaster um, to see kind of what we what we can you see if I sort of fill these in and then I'll put plaster over this we'll get like a mountain shape effect my skiers will plummet down there to their death um, at a death defined pace but it will give me a ski soap which will take the people from the ski lift up here down to the village down here at a death defined pace so this is um, the start of it what I thought I would do now is as I said I'm using cocktail sticks here just to stick these things together so I put a couple there and a piece at the back what I'm now going to do is put a little bit of PVA over here and then push this other block on kind of lining it up with my fingers so it goes on and down that'll give me my other corner piece I'm going to put another bit of duct tape at the back there just to keep it in place give it a little bit more strength Again, as I said, this won't be seen. Those joints will be covered up and out the way. And a little bit of duct tape, world famous duct tape. Uh, actually, what I'm using is Gorilla tape because I actually prefer the Gorilla tape to duct tape. Uh, they do the same thing. I just quite like the real tape, so that's going to give me my corner there. Uh, this is my uh, slope, which as you can see I've mounted crudely uh, top. So what I will now do, and I'll just play at this to start with, is pop a couple of cocktail sticks in here. Coming out at an angle. What they're going to do, they have to come out like that, at an angle like, like that, I think, to attach. And then we'll, when we get over here, we can push those in. And as you can see, that will hold that in place. I'll line that up a bit more in just a moment and then put a bit of duct tape over it. Let's get in and do that. Got that little bit out of line. 
Sorry, you stand in your way while I'm doing is lining that up a little bit better on the, the cocktail sticks. Let's put them in there first. Get them to line up and push it in. There, that goes nicely there. Nicely there, bit of duct tape across the top. Good old girl of tape. Keep that nice and firm in place and you can see how this will gradually start to take shape with another block in here and in here and in here and I'll, I'll piece that together um, I'm going to stop now uh, I'll carry on with this a little bit later I'm going to play around with some pieces uh, save you just watching this for hours. I'm going to play around with some more pieces of polystyrene to make it look a bit more um, the shape that I'm after. Um, I used one of these. I don't know if you've uh, seen these styrofoam uh, cutters. They're very cheap to buy. They've got different bits on them. You can have a little uh, sharp blade which you can just carve through with. Or well, this wire is quite quite good for just cutting away at things. So you can kind of cut away through um through that edge just to take the the edge off this i can't do that I'll, I'll show you that later i'm going to play around with that later these are battery operated relatively cheap get them from um people like hobbycraft and and away you go so these are very useful tools for working with styrofoam okay i'm going to stop for now and then we'll pick it up again later